Our next question is, in the given figure ABC is equilateral triangle in which QP, QP is parallel to AC, side AC is produced up to R so that CR, CR is equal to BP, prove that QR bisects PC, prove that QR bisects PC. So, this should be equal and this should be equal to this. That is what we need to prove. So, the given information is this one. So, according to the given information, ABC is equilateral triangle. So, all sides are equal here and AC is a line parallel to QP and you are producing AC till R. So, we can say AR is parallel to QP. So, AR is parallel to QP that much we can say from the information and it is given that CR is equal to BP. So, we need to prove QP is bisecting PC. So, the whole information we need to prove is between these two triangles only. So, whether it is having equality condition according to sides or according to angles that we need to uh, get the information from those two then we can prove the congruency. So, first of all take any congruence relation between those two triangles or not. First of all I am considering triangle PQM and triangle CRM. Here at M these two are crossing each other so that opposite angles are equal. So, angle CMR is equal to angle PMQ. This is first relation that we got and since AR is parallel to QP, if you consider QR as the transverse axis, AR, AR and QP, AR and QP are parallel to each other. If you consider QR as the transverse axis, the alternate angles on that side and this side will be equal. That means angle at R will be equal to angle at Q. So, I will write the angle, angle CRM is equal to angle PQM, angle PQM. So, this is the second relation. Same thing we can prove by considering uh, these two only by considering PC as a transverse axis. So, PC as some transverse axis. So, the respect to angles here and there will be equal. So, that means the angles at here this one is equal to here. Okay. So, if you consider these two as parallel lines and if you take this PC as transverse axis, the alternate angles here both are equal. So, I am writing that, that angle like angle QPM is equal to angle RCM. Okay. So, we got three relations, but we cannot prove congruency by only taking angles. We cannot take congruency by taking only angles. We cannot prove AAA proof at least one side should be equal there it is given that CR is equal to BP but BP is outside those two triangles how to get into it so it is given that ABC is a equilateral triangle so for equilateral triangle you have 60 degrees at the corners okay so when you have 60 degrees at the corners and here AC is parallel to QP so, based on this, if you consider QA as transverse to, to AC and QP, you will have angle here as 60 degrees and here also this angle is equal to this angle because if you consider PC as transverse to AC and QP, this angle will be equal which is 60 degrees. So, anyways B is 60 degrees. So, this will be acting as a equilateral triangle. When this is equilateral triangle, BP is equal to BQ is equal to QP. But from BP, I can write CR from the given information, BP is equal to BP is equal to CR. So, BP is equal to CR. So, I can write CR is equal to QP, which are sides of those two triangles, the considered triangles for the congruency. So, we have a side relation here, we have any two triangle angle relations here. So, from this information, we can say that triangle PQM is congruent to triangle CRM. 
from this congruency we can equate the respective sides which are equal so here pm is equal to mc pm is equal to mc and qm is equal to mr qm is equal to mr okay so these two, from these two information we can easily say that these two lines are bisecting each other with equal portions on both sides so qm is equal to mr so pm is equal to mc so that we have two equal portions on those two sides so that means this pc and q are bisecting each other that's what we need to prove q r bisects pc the main turning point is we have got equal angle relations here but apart from that we have got side relation from this equilateral triangle which is convinced by this bigger triangle abc